Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a really exciting reading. Uh, as soon as Animal Crossing came out, I've wanted to do a reading of Animal Crossing. I'm just, I'm absolutely buzzing. I've, I've loved Animal Crossing since I was really, really young. Today we're going to be doing the journey to your soulmate, okay? So this is going to be what you're going to go through before you meet your soulmate. And you could already know who your soulmate is. It could just be like the lessons that you need to learn, that sort of thing, okay? So this is going to be about that. We have group number one, group number two, group number three and group number four. I'm gonna do some Nintendo, maybe some like Marvel as well. I just wanna nerd the freak out. I just wanna nerd out, okay? So if any of you guys would like those sort of readings as well, I want to do those. I really want to do like Iron Man ones and just, oh, yes, okay. So you can tell how excited I am. So that's the readings, guys. Those are the groups. So if you wanna choose your group now, let's get started and let's see what your journey is to your soulmate. So starting off, with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading, let's see what your journey is towards your soulmate. So we're going to start off with the cards on top, bear with me a sec, let me just move my screen up so I can see what I'm doing, there we go. Okay so we have influence, practicality, we then have defense, seduction, and resistance okay so that's basically the start of it i'm going to pull out the rest of the cards and then we're going to kind of get a more of an in detail depth and see we have divine feminine you are being called on to rise and then we have abundance so let's have a look and see with these cards first and then we're going to move on to these so i feel like with these cards here basically the journey to your soulmate is to release control okay so you could be quite a practical person you could be somebody who has possibly got a lot of gemini gemini i meant to say virgo okay gemini in your chart um my ear is ringing as well so i don't know what that's all about but obviously there's some guides here giving us some information but yeah i really feel like for you guys it's really really important for you to um release resistance guys i'm having a mare with my setup okay so we have the rest of the cards here i'm going to leave those here for just a second so Basically, the journey to your soulmate is you are, I think for a lot of you, okay, this will be obviously 16 plus, 18 plus, you know, whatever, whatever age you're legal is, I think for some of you guys, you may have been with quite a few partners just for intimate reasons, okay, not for anything long term. And you're basically learning that that isn't the best idea, okay, it feels like it's more to do with just seduction and, and anything that's kind of, it's too much of an influence for you, like it's not grounding you and I think that's probably one of your biggest lessons right now before you meet your person is to let go of that also to let go of control and a lot of you guys could be um, fixed signs watching this as well um, I feel like you're being called to kind of really embrace your femininity and really embrace who you are before you meet your person okay and we have the abundance card as well so when you release resistance you will get the abundance coming in um, you are a very seductive person you're very attractive you're very beautiful um and I feel like for you guys, sorry, I just hit one of my selenite ones. Um, you have quite, you have quite a lot of influences. I feel like in terms of like you have people interested in you, you may not know, but you are a very attractive person. A lot of people like see you as someone very attractive. And we have the honeybee twice. We have bees in this card, and we also have the honeybee here. So possibly look up the honeybee um, animal as well. That could give you some extra information. Okay. So we're going to see what else we have. Once we get into the Oracle cards, um, I'm going to have a look into the tarot. We're going to see kind of what the actual stages are before you meet your person. So we have, yep, passion, root and sacral chakra. We then have a leg up and we also have believe in the impossible. So this is you guys just believing in yourself, believing that things will happen and also getting assistance when you need it and not to avoid kind of being just on your own and doing things by yourself because we do always need, we need assistance sometimes and that's just how it is. Otherwise, other people wouldn't be on this planet, you know, because we need to, to come together as a community to help each other. And you are learning to actually go towards what you're passionate about and not actually um, avoiding it because maybe it's something that like, people might find taboo. It might be something that people think, oh, that's a bit weird. That's a bit strange. Um, but actually, this is actually a really good energy. It's really kind of like um, you being your authentic self and actually going towards that you working on your root and your sacral chakras as well is going to be a really big thing for you and to get out in nature is going to be really really helpful also I feel like just to let people help you you know and if, if that if need be then that's something that you need to do you know because sometimes we do need that extra help okay so what is group number one going to go through before they meet the person wow <laughs> all right so maybe you've already met your person maybe you guys have already met your person 
for those of you who haven't you are very close to it you are extremely close when i get that card straight away that's like boom they're already you're already there you're wow that is right planted right onto that passion card absolutely beautiful guys strength i'm going to do this shuffle away from the microphone i always need to remember to do that because i don't want to deafen you guys have the six of pentacles Have temperance. We have the nine of wands. Can we get one more card, please? Four of wands. Justice. Right, I genuinely feel like you're going to know your person straight away as soon as you meet them. Um, basically, the journey to your soulmate is to definitely release control and to really embrace who you are. I feel like those two are really, really, really important for this group. My stomach is going to start rumbling again. I can feel it. I can feel it happening, guys. <laughs> so if you can hear my stomach rumbling, I do apologise. Um, so with the full card and the Empress, this is basically saying that you are needing to just be in your own energy. This is so beautiful. This energy is so perfect. You pretty much, you, your, your journey to your soulmate is pretty much nearly done, already done. You guys are very close to your relationship. I don't see that you're you haven't learned any of this i feel like you've pretty much learned all of this i really really feel that for you guys um and with this energy of the strength it's like you are learning to be independent as well and the journey towards your soulmate in terms of before what's going to happen before you meet them is that this person is going to see you as somebody who's already established already sorted and they're going to actually need their strength to move towards you because you're the one who has all the qualities that this person really really likes and the temperance coming in here is basically saying that your your emotions are going to be balanced before you meet this person so if you are possibly going through some stuff i feel like you're possibly going to move through that and then you're going to meet your person i don't see you meeting your, your person when you're in a, when a bit of a mess a bit of a confusion a bit of a state um, of sadness or depression or anxiety anything like that um, and then basically because you're stable you're going to manifest your person it's going to be a very stable relationship okay so let's see what else we have the dice this is going to be quite loud guys so just bear with me okay so we have eighth house leo okay so this is really really beautiful so this energy here is basically saying that your your intimacy levels that is what you've been working on you guys are probably quite an intimate um person you do like intimacy you like kind of um connecting with a lot of people you probably are quite a sexual person uh doesn't always have to be but you are very connected with your sacral chakra that is something you're working on really big you guys okay and i really feel like for you guys it's important to um have a strong um relationship with your eighth house which is your intimacy things like that it could be to do with your communication as well um but where we have this in pluto this is you um becoming more confident and more courageous and more able to shift your energy forward and actually oh this is a good one actually take up space in your relationship and not hide behind anything which is really really beautiful i love that so is there anything else that needs to come through i feel like i want to pull one more card for you guys beautiful we have new location and kindness so this could literally mean anything this could mean that you're moving to a new location physically it could mean that you're moving to a new location um within your within yourself you could be turning into a new person you could be releasing the old and starting the new and the kindness is really beautiful it's all about you being really really super super kind to yourself and embracing that kindness and that will help you move forward you guys are definitely getting this is a brand new relationship i feel like for you guys um it's a relationship you never had before it's going to be a complete new energy and the new location could also be that you are moving house moving work moving schools colleges uni you know anything like that this is you really embracing all the sides of you that really connect you to who you are and you're just being your most authentic self which is absolutely beautiful this is so lovely this reminds me of my blue lace agate necklace that i have this really gorgeous lovely blue um you really connecting with your communication and you also have trust your intuition so really trust your intuition with this guys it's going to be absolutely fine okay so thank you group one for watching i really appreciate you if you would like to get a private reading all my information is down below and prepare for lots more nerdy picker cards <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon much love
bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading let's see what your journey is towards your soulmate so we're going to have a look into your oracle cards first and then we're going to do the tarot okay so let's see what cards you have we have oh flirtation we have flirtation control and generosity that's really beautiful so this is basically showing me that you guys your journey is to basically release control very similar to group number one actually and you are learning to be your most authentic um feminine self obviously feminine masculine whatever you whatever you class yourself as we all have feminine and masculine energy and you're really um communicating with yourself you're actually embracing who you are and you're really really coming into your own for a lot of you guys it could be releasing control around relationships as well and even around yourself whatever that control is that's stopping you from moving forward it could be controlling an actual relationship you have already and it's possibly not healthy and you need to part ways or it could be friendships as well in a child don't take life too seriously beautiful so really releasing control really kind of getting into your childlike energy as soon as i got these amiibos i was so 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 happy you have no idea <laughs> it really took me back from when i first bought animal crossing like i was just so 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 in my childlike element so we have speak your truth have strength faith and conviction in your voice it has never been more needed so that's what's really important is to really speak your truth and the generosity is kind of making me feel that is really kind of letting that out and really learn to speak your truth you're learning to just um open up and i like how we've got the same guy here with, with control and generosity it's like putting those two together can be really really expansive you know if you're generous with control that's a leader you know that's somebody who leads who's who's taking part in their life who's really concentrating on their life you know who's really taking that control back okay so we have nothing will come in this situation this whenever this comes up this is all about releasing control okay this is all about um basically not worrying because if you worry that nothing will come in the situation you know not to say that it's not going to happen but there's no point in worrying basically we then have exchanging gifts okay so this is you really accepting um, offers from people and actually understanding your own value and what you appreciate about yourself and really letting people see that and when somebody gives you a gift you accept it instead of saying no 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 I don't, I don't need that but actually you know you're like yes I do want that yes thank you very much and accepting it live in the present heart chakra this is so accurate for you guys you definitely have control a certain sense of control and need to have control and don't we all don't we all guys we really do past loved ones root chakra so you've got a root and heart chakra coming in so those could be your chakras that you're really really working on okay and with this energy of the past loved ones coming in this is really saying to me that you are connected your past loved ones are going to help you move through this okay so live in the present heart chakra this is all about you guys um well living in the present but unikai is all about your health as well unikai is really really good for health problems like physical health problems so you may have had some health problems as well and so that's going to once that kind of shifts that's what's going to move you forward to your person okay exchanging gifts this is basically as i said it's you accepting your accepting gifts coming towards you accepting offers coming towards you and it's just basically anything it's like anything that people say possibly compliments or anything it's you accepting that and really loving yourself and i'm really connecting with these rose courses i feel like it's definitely to do with self-love and really accepting yourself for who you are okay so let's see in detail what's going to happen before you meet this person okay so what's going to happen before group two meets their person i definitely feel like it's releasing control lovely definitely releasing control here we have the devil which is really interesting okay so basically you're releasing the need to control every single situation i'm going to bring this out a little bit so you guys can see cards there we go um okay so your person's very close to you your person's very very soon i feel like this is this is love giving to you and also um sorry i'm getting so many messages coming through one of them is to live in the present guys live in the present because that will that will bring your person towards you you don't need to worry about this person coming in because they will come to you at the right time that's basically what they just said okay so with this seven sorry five of swords yeah i think you're going to release you're going to release the past you're really going to release the past what else have we got here i'm going to have to i think i might clarify that five of swords i'm a little bit confuzzled okay so you could be meeting a water sign or a fire sign oh yes okay this is when it starts this is when the relationship starts okay i was thinking eh, maybe knight of cups i think it's actually here here's when it starts so basically this is your journey 
before you meet your person. So what is it showing is that you're releasing things that no longer serve you. It could be bad habits, could be um, addictions, can be um, having doing intimate times with people too many times, with different people that possibly aren't good for your energy. Um, I'm hearing suffocating yourself. So maybe you're really kind of like stopping. I feel like some of you are really stopping yourself from talking about things that you really want to talk about. And you're stopping yourself out of possibly balancing out situations, not wanting to cause conflict, anything like that. This is you giving to yourself. This is a self-love I was talking about, okay? So let's, this book could also be a water sign or you could be a water sign. Okay, can we have a little bit of clarification on that um, five of swords? I think this is you dropping the sword. This is you dropping um, anything that no longer serves you. This is you kind of releasing the baggage. Yeah, this is. Yeah, because you're much more happier where you are now. You're much more, it's like almost when you're carrying a really heavy bag with you everywhere. And you're just like, oh, I just want to like drop this bag and just walk away because it's just so heavy and I'm carrying it everywhere I go. When actually all you need is like your wallet, your purse. Wallet, wallet, wallet is a purse, Vicky. <laughs> oh my god your purse your keys and your phone that's all you need but actually you're carrying every single thing with you whereas you don't need to do that drop the bag baggage guys drop it drop it now <laughs> so yeah you don't need that you just need to clear your path that's all that's happening is you are releasing that and you're coming onto a much clearer path guys this is beautiful this is so beautiful um let's have a little what's this king of wands about then what's this what's this little guy oh lovely so really good communication with this person you're going to feel very clear about this person you're going to know that this is the right person because your communication is very 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 good and your, your where your throat chakra is clearing you're going to feel much more happier to talk about things you're going to feel really happy with this person and we also have the two of ones in reverse so right now you could be feeling stuck really uncomfortable with where you are which obviously is quite normal in this sort of situation that we're going through right now but you are going to get through it let's get some extra advice for group number two Yeah, I, re I actually saw this as parenting. I think you're parenting yourself as well. But you are going to get positive things coming towards you. You are going to have, expect positive things as well. This is a crown chakra energy too. So I think you're going to get um, downloads when this person comes in. If not, I just feel like you know who you want to who you want to be with and you'll know when this is the right one because you've taken a lot of time for yourself. Really take the time for yourself now. Don't overthink it, guys. Just take some time to meditate. And really being your own energy because that's what's most important to manifest this person and they're gonna they're saying they're gonna come in whether you like it or not basically so for those of you who are worrying oh i don't know if i'm going to get into a relationship don't know if this is going to be even the right person it is oh my god here we go family so i did think about family here so it's definitely to do with you um bonding i'm hearing bonding with family um having a stronger bond with family but also um not being too distracted by family and what what your family wants focusing on yourself i'm hearing religion as well so some of you guys could be coming out of um, a very strong religious family but also understanding that obviously you can be religious and spiritual at the same time guys i'm not saying that it's basically a religion that you don't want to be in you're releasing that also but you're also using your creative expression to kind of um really manifest this person the more you focus on what you love and what makes you feel so so happy the more it's going to manifest for you guys really connect with your inner child and we did have that earlier um, but also you probably want to have a family too and this person is going to bring that towards you and with this family harmony here if you have issues with any parents if you have any issue with family members release that release it that's not what you want you want to you want to live in the present moment you want to um, really carry on with a an open heart you don't want to suffer because of past issues or it could be even be dna this could even be ancestral patterns that you're releasing as well and that's a big job Okay, and a creative expression is going to really help you. Sorry, that was loud, guys. Did I forgot to warn you. <laughs> okay, so we have this sun, Pisces, ninth house. So this is really, really nice. This is ultimate kind of spiritual relationship. This is a very strong relationship. And with the ninth house, this is you connecting with your intuition, your higher learning, and Pisces is an extremely intuitive sign, extremely, extremely. So this is going to be a really intuitive relationship. You're going to know when this person comes in. This could also be that you're doing something intuitive as a job as well. That could also be something it could, as I say, it is to do with religion as well. So the fact that your, your philosophy is probably changing, this is also about long distance travel. This is also about philosophy, religion, dreams, visions, ideals. So this is probably going to be a relationship that's been a long time coming. I really feel need to grab this card out. What is this card? 
magic of nature. Oh, we also have problems resolved and letting go. So definitely getting into nature is going to really, really help you guys. So thank you so much for watching group number two. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you want more readings like this, then uh, stay tuned for more. I'm going to do more nerdy readings. I want to try and get some tarot decks, like nerdy tarot decks. I really want to get some of those. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you like this video, if you want to get a reading with me, then feel free to look down below. All my private reading rates are down below. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Stay safe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see your journey to your soulmate, okay? So the first cards we have are publicity and domination, okay? So then we're gonna have a look into the other cards and then we're gonna see. We're also gonna have a look into the tarot to see like the really in-depth kind of journey. So we're gonna have a look into the oracle cards first. We have initiations, be open through this transitional time. I love, this card is one of my faves. And then we have strength. So take time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. Okay. We then have, have faith in your dreams. Time to go. I don't think I've ever had this card before. So I might have to look into the book for that one. And then we also have, whoa. Oh my God, sorry guys. My nose just did a really weird thing. I don't think you guys are having like nose issues or something, but like went down into my throat and just have some water hold on right sorry about that we have bloodstone Ooh, i recently just got this in the post so i love that bloodstone detoxifying okay so um let's have a look into this card first because i want to see kind of how this is going to wrap the whole reading together so 45 Ooh, you're gonna like this one Endings, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. Ooh, uh, ooh, <laughs> uh, and <I>, ooh. <laughs> you are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to a new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do here, to do, sorry, be or experience in the present in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Relationship message, it's over. Or at the very least, the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. This is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come in in to, come sorry, come to its conclusion. That doesn't mean anything is lost, although this card could speak to a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract. It is more about release than destruction. Remember that saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. I don't really like that it never was. I think that's a bit mean, but obviously it was yours at some point. I don't really agree with that, but endings are always a sign of beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. So for lot, some of you, that can be that message. Obviously, if you're with somebody and you really like them, like obviously that's not your message. It's, it's just like people who are, you know, not in a good relationship or not in a friendship that suits them. This message is clear. The path you've been on with your work, creative projects and business alliances have come to an end. You will not find the success you desire by continuing with what is in front of you. Okay, so basically it's saying the perfect timing to move forward and let go of self-doubt. I don't like the fact that it's saying that basically everything in front of you is kind of like not worth pursuing because if you've got like a really good job or you've got something you're really passionate about that you really like, that's obviously not going to resonate with you. For those of you who have something that doesn't resonate with you, that's time to let go. So for a lot of you, um, I like how it says time to go instead of time to let go because that can actually mean for some of you, you could be moving house or want to move house or you're basically moving on from a new job. You're moving towards this relationship. Your time to go is in like, okay, whatever doesn't serve you anymore is moving forward and you're letting go of that and you're moving forward into a new life for yourself. So this can be habits, it can be eating habits, it can be the way you think, the way you talk to yourself, the way you talk to others, the way you interact with relationships, partnerships, friendships, family, all that jazz. It can be all of those things. Um, for some of you guys, there is definitely a situation where it's bringing light, you're bringing light to a situation. So it can be, as I say, addictions, it can be family, it can be friends, people who don't serve you or anything that doesn't serve you are, that is being lit up in, in your area, okay? I love how we have be open through this transitional time and detoxifying. There is definitely a massive transition and detoxifying going on. So have faith that things are going where they're meant to be going. And because just because it's not happening now doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It may just take a little bit of time and that's okay. So for some of you, you could be in the public eye as well. This person who you meet could also be in the public eye. For some of you guys, you could be feeling like you need to push 
push harder to get to where you need to go. Some of you that could be the case, but if it feels stressful, stop. They're saying stop, calm down, take a few deep breaths and meditate on it because we don't need to force things that aren't, if we need to force it, sometimes it's not for us, you know? Um, you don't always have to force everything. There's like a video of Alicia Keys and she's talking to Jay Shetty. I don't know if you've seen it guys, but it's really, really good. She's basically saying, I was pushing and pushing and pushing and forcing and forcing and forcing things that weren't meant for me. And at the end of the day, I realized they just weren't meant for me. Like I was stressing myself out over something that just wasn't good for me. And obviously this is gonna be for those of you who it relates to, if it doesn't relate to you, that's totally fine guys, obviously. Uh, you take it as it resonates. So let's see your, um, let's see what your journey is before you meet your soulmate. Releasing things from the past, perfect. Releasing things, walking away, time to go. Releasing things that no longer serve you. Yep, so some of you, you could be holding on to something that doesn't serve you and it can be quite hard to let go. That's totally fine, you take your time, guys. And if you don't wanna let it go, you can always have a different relationship to it. Sometimes that can help also, is literally just having a different outcome, literally, different, sorry, a different outlook to that thing. Sometimes it's literally just your relationship towards that thing. It doesn't have to be the actual thing. Yeah, you feel like for some of you guys, you feel this is your safety, okay? Whatever you're holding on to, this is your safety. And the most important part for you guys is to really acknowledge that that was your safety for then, but it's not serving you anymore. It's not serving you now. Okay, we then have the Nine of Cups, beautiful. So your person could be a, an Earth sign, it could be you as well if you're an Earth sign. But also it could just be that this journey is gonna take a little bit longer than what you expected it to, but it can also be unexpected. So for those of you, it's just, it, vary, it varies, okay guys? So this is, I feel like it's you moving forward. This part here is literally you learning the thing that you need to learn, okay? And we're gonna see when you're, okay, this is your person coming in. I feel like it could be here or here. Okay, so it could be here. Um, it, sorry, I'm gonna move this out a little bit. For some reason the angle is really strange. Um, so with the King of Pentacles, that could be you standing your power, standing your ground. Could also mean your person coming in. So your journey, some of you guys' could journey could be this short for the, literally just these two cards, okay? Letting go and actually releasing the thing, okay? I'm hearing releasing the damn thing. So maybe it's just really not for you anymore and then becoming stable with your person. It doesn't have to be an earth sign, could just be an inquirer of that person coming in. For those of you who it's a little bit longer, you're learning to be stable, you're learning to do things more independently, learn to let go of the past, and then your person comes in, okay? Um, it's also to do with the fact that we have the Nine of Cups and the Chariot. This is you um, feeling confident with this offer. Um, for those of you who already know this person or you are confident when this person comes in that this is your person, this is your path here. If you're not sure this is that if this person is the right one, that's you kind of debating in this section, okay? So that's just basically, it varies for each person. So you take it as it resonates. Could also be meeting a air sign. Uh, could also be meeting a water or earth, literally all the signs we've got here as well. Knight of Swords also, so there could be a little bit of miscommunication when this person comes in. <clears throat> you may think they have ulterior, ulterior motives. It could be that they don't communicate it could be they communicate in a weird way and you're like, I don't really know how to feel about this. It could be like, it could even be something as simple as they're your colleague and you don't know if they want to be in a relationship. It could be they're a friend and you don't know if they want a relationship. Could be that they are in a relationship already and they end that relationship and you're kind of just like, you know, thinking, okay, but if they come straight to me after a relationship, is that healthy? And sometimes it can be healthy because sometimes that relationship just wasn't meant for them in the first place or they're ready to move forward and they've been ready for a long time but they still haven't just let go of that person, okay? But obviously it's variable for everyone, okay? So just please take it as it resonates. This is just um, general energy and we also have the Knight of Cups with the Seven of Wands, sorry, Swords. So for some of you guys, you could be, those of you, some of you are debating if this is the right person. You're like, I don't know, <laughs> it's too good to be true, that kind of thing. But I think this person is really, really nice, okay? They have really good energy. They seem very patient. I feel like you're not the patient one. I think they're the patient one. I don't know if you guys watch Star, uh, Star Wars, but I'm hearing you're the patient one. <laughs> that, that's like Yoda says or something. I don't know. Oh, good. This is the same card as um, one of the other groups got. So as I said in the group, in uh, the other group, this is a new location. So it can be to do with moving house. It can be moving relationships. Sorry, guys. It can be you're feeling less stressed and drained now. Uh, you're moving into a new location within your own body. You're basically embracing who you are and therefore you feel like a whole new freaking person. 
And sometimes people say their body is their home and that could literally be that as well. Your soul is literally getting a massive upgrade, almost like you're moving house, but with your soul. <laughs> okay, it's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully that makes sense to some of you guys. I'm getting, I'm getting a picnic for some of you guys. I don't know if you're going to have a picnic, but for some reason I got that. We also have body movement and we have parenting and children. Could have a picnic in your house, could even be, I don't know, but you're going to be happy, guys. You're going to be happy. You're going to get really good communication. We've got a lot of blue here as well. So a lot of throat chakra energy and feeling really confident. So it's really good for you to move your body. It's really good for you to kind of get that energy flowing. And with parenting and children, you're really <clears throat> becoming the parent of yourself. It could be your relationship with your children is changing. It could be the relationship with your parents is changing. And that's what's helping you shift. As we shift, literally anything can change within our relationships, okay? So it can be literally to do with our family. It can be to do with our parents, that kind of thing. But I really feel like for you guys, it's so, so important for you to just be nurturing to yourself. Some of you guys, you could be having a really, really bad time on yourself. You could be really, really hard on yourself. Um, but it's really important for you to just um, take a chill pill. <laughs> Relax. Um, <clears throat> this could also be your fighting with siblings um, and you're learning to just let that go. Publicity could also be that you've become really kind of popular um, and you're, you're just handling that publicity. Um, it can also be you're worried about sharing who you are. You're worried about sharing... Um, your personality with others because you're worried about what they're going to think of you that's going to be totally fine guys you're going to be fine and I like with the publicity here it's pointing to the star so it's like it's meant to happen it's divine timing uh, the relationship and also maybe if you want to be more recognized that is the relationship there I feel like you're going to get a lot of publicity when you meet this person could be when you meet them or also before you meet them you could have, be quite famous or popular or you know that sort of thing you know whatever whatever you class as popular or happy you know Whatever it is. I feel like you're going to be very happy before you meet this person as well, though. So going for a lot of different stages, you guys. So let's see for group number three. Okay, we have first house, Scorpio. We then have Jupiter. So this is a massive expansion to do with you, the way you see yourself. I definitely felt that with you guys. Your, as I say, your soul is upgrading, okay? And with the Scorpio, this is massive death energy. Um, it can be also that you guys are a Scorpio. Um, it could be Scorpio sun also, or Libra sun. Um, I keep looking at this sixth house here with the Libra as well. So sixth house is like health work. So you could meet this person at work. And the Scorpio is all about kind of intense, raw energy. So it's probably going to be a very intense um, connection with each other. You're probably going to have a really intense connection. And you're going to feel really, really good with each other. And it's going to be like nothing you've ever had before. It's going to be a very spiritual relationship. So you're going to understand each other on every single level. And they're basically saying not to rush because this Scorpio is making me feel like you're forcing things. You're wanting to force things. Let that go. Okay, guys. And Obviously, it's going to resonate differently for each of you. And as a Scorpio, I know that I do rush things. I think it's because Scorpio uh, is ruled by Mars. Same with Aries as well. So we can feel the need to kind of rush things when actually we don't need to. Okay. Time to chill pill. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this group three with KK Slider. I love him. He's a cutie. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't if you haven't already. Also, if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. I am slowly releasing my jewellery. So if you ever are interested in anything that I'm wearing in my readings, which is this that I've made, anything like that, just let me know. Message me. All the information is down below. And I also want to get some nerdy tarot as well. So it will be much more nerdier next time. But I really hope you enjoy this reading and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see your journey to your soulmate. So we're going to start off with the oracle cards first. <clears throat> and then we're going to go into the tarot. Okay, so starting off with these cards, we have quite a few. We have drama, caution, quarrel acquisition and principle so a lot of really 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 intense energies sorry if you guys heard that click that was literally just my elbow on the table um so there's a lot of intense energies here so for a lot of you guys you could be a fixed sign or you could have quite an intense personality so you're kind of all in all out sort of person and then have swan graceful transformation Ooh, and then we have unity heart you're being called to work on collective healing okay so some really beautiful birds there we then have time, take time to breathe out. I really feel that for you guys, actually. This feels like I can't take a breath because it's so, so, so intense. We then have never ending story, another intense card. And then we also have, ooh, green adventure in new opportunities, heart chakra. So as I say, this is obviously the majority of the reading, but this is what, where you're going towards. You're going towards new opportunities with your heart. 
the lesson I feel like for you guys right now that you're learning is that you are learning to actually become, I'm hearing become more sensitive. So for some of you guys, you could be quite, um, have more masculine energy. Um, you could be more of a thinker rather than in your heart. Yes, they're saying yes, less head, more heart, more in the feminine than the masculine. Okay. That is definitely what I'm feeling for you guys. I really feel that. Um, this is definitely to do with relationships. This card, every time I get this, it's always to do with relationships. It's because um, swans mate for life. And that's why I, whenever I get this card, it's like, yes, boom. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you'll learn to balance out who you are as well and not learn to just kind of like argue or um, extend your energy too fiery, like too fieriness. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but not being too fiery towards people, okay? Also not quarrelling with yourself, you may be quite hard on yourself and you may th be quite a perfectionist and you may think, oh, I'm never going to get anyone, um, no one loves me, that sort of thing. I feel like just the way you talk to yourself, you've got to be really careful because sometimes it can manifest into even more negativity and unhappiness, okay? So you learn to let go of the drama, you learn to be less cautious, which I think is really, really lovely. And you're learning with this person who comes in, you're learning to actually just release any kind of strain you have on yourself because you have quite a hard time becoming connected with people sometimes. I think you possibly overthink, you possibly think, oh no, this is not gonna work out, that sort of thing. And obviously this is a general reading, guys, so if this isn't resonating with you, you can always move on to another group. Um, but you have been through quite a lot, guys. This could also be in the past, okay? This could also be in the past for some of you. This, I feel like, is in the past, never ending story. I feel like you felt like you quarreled with people, you didn't get on with people, you could have had people in your past that were horrible to you, that were causing drama, that were immature, that sort of thing. And there could have been people who were above you, say like, um, by the way, no one is above you, just letting you know, but the hierarchy, like maybe a tutor, a teacher, um, a parent, that kind of thing. I feel like maybe about you kind of stepping up into your power and knowing that those people came into your life for a reason to teach you how to deal with drama and how to really kind of be balanced within that chaos. And now you're moving out of that. That's exactly what it is, I just said that. So I don't actually know what acquisition means. It says an asset or object bought or obtained typically by a library or museum. So this is Sun in Taurus. So I think it's, for a lot of you guys, you could be have been more superficial. And when I say superficial, I don't mean like in a really bad way. It could mean that you're just more focused on work. You're more focused on uh, your physical gain that sort of thing, or, or it could be also that you're learning to focus more on your um, your financial gain. But I do feel like this group feels more masculine. It feels more like you guys are focused more on physical elements than not. I do feel like this is very specific. So if it doesn't resonate with you guys, there is some little kind of tweaks, but the main element is like you guys going more into your heart chakra, okay? Because you could be more of like an observer rather than kind of going into it. Okay, so my battery is gonna die soon. So hopefully you're gonna get this reading out. So we have Three of Cups, we have Ace of Swords, The Tower, Page of Cups. Yep, so you're definitely going to have a water sign coming in. You guys are really close to meeting your person. You can even know who this person is. They could be from work. They could be a colleague. Um, you may know this person at the start here, so you may already know this. For some of you who don't know them, you are going to find out who they are through communication. Basically, your journey is about as this, this long. It's like... Um, enjoying yourself, learning how to communicate, boom, done, there they are, okay? So that's basically how quick it is. For those of you who are ready for your relationship, who know you are ready, you are definitely ready, okay? You are moving out, and this is clarification. You're gonna get a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, what's the word? Give me the word. Intuition, you're gonna get a lot of intuitive downloads. And you're gonna have a lot of choice in terms of this person, like, they're gonna be really patient with you and they're most likely gonna be quite far away. We're gonna give you some extra clarification and see what else is happening for you in terms of this relationship. Okay, so body movement's really important. You could both be very fit, very healthy. Um, you could One of you could be a dancer, I feel like maybe. You could both be dancers as well. Definitely something to do with music and um, dancing here. Yeah, it could be you have a dream for dancing. Wow, my voice just went really weird. Could be that you have a dream for dancing and you want to do that. This is like the, the third time this has come out, this card. So for you guys, it's really important for you to um, <clears throat> move away from anything that no longer serves you because it's going to make you really, really happy when you actually do that. And then we also have the be honest with yourself and detoxification. 
So there is definitely an element of moving away from anything that no longer serves you. New location, um, this is also could be moving in with your partner when you meet them. It could be that you, um, you're moving away from anything that no longer serves you in terms of your diet, in terms of your friendships that aren't serving you, uh, habits, addictions, that sort of thing. New location could even be like, you're, you're feeling like a new person, that sort of thing. And if you're not there yet, you will. I think it's actually connected to this. For some reason, I'm really feeling that. Um, you are being called to, to work on collective healing. So I think it's really important for you to um, heal yourself before you can heal others. That's super, super important. I'm going to actually suggest your crystal card. I don't think I did this in the other group, but I'm gonna suggest your crystal card. No, I'm gonna pull it again. Oh, this is a good one. Hematite and business sacral chakra. Hematite is so good for grounding. So if you wanna have some grounding, hematite is perfect. If you ever want any jewelry with that on, let me know. Hit me up, uh, my Instagram or email down below. And then we also have cinnabar business sacral chakra. I don't have any cinnabar. Um, I think cinnabar is quite hard to get, but I can get red jasper, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, this is really good because you're working on your business, you're working on your work, you're working on your uh, finances, and that will help you to get grounded because it will help you to not be in your head so much, get concentrate on something that really serves you. Hematite is really good for overthinking as well. It really, really helps you to um, overthink less. Okay, what else does group number four need to know? Okay, we have Jupiter, the 10th house, Pisces. So you could be meeting a Pisces, your Pisces could be in your 10th house. So you could meet this person through career. I feel like a massive expansion in your career, that is what it is. When you move uh, your job or you move into a job that really suits you, that's when you're gonna meet this person. Very, it could be a spiritual job as well. You could actually be a collective, like you could be a healer. You could want to heal as well. I mean, that could also be your job, you could be a healer. And you could be having children with this person. You could think about yeah, thinking about children right right now. So that could be an extra clarification for you guys. Um, and also with the 10th house is about career. It's about your um, motivations. It's about your um, dreams, aspirations. And because this is in Pisces, it's gonna be a very, very spiritual job most likely. Or your intuition is gonna be really high in terms of where you wanna go in terms of your career. It could be moving you to where you wanna go in that sense, okay? For some of you guys, you could be working with crystals. Yeah, beautiful. Jupiter's all, all about expansion as well, and you're gonna meet this person in divine timing, guys, okay? So it could be meeting an Aquarius, could be a Pisces, could be a Sag, an uh, Aries, um, a Leo, Libra. That's pretty much it, that's what I'm feeling, but it could be, could be, could be other signs as well. So um, I feel like I need to just pull you one more card. Sorry guys, I'm really connected with this group. So let me just pull one more card. Okay, we have <laughs> intuition. What did I just say? Intuition and appreciation. So you will actually appreciate your intuition by the time you meet this person. That's gonna be um, a lesson of yours as well. And you're gonna be really appreciated in this relationship also. We then have negotiation. So I feel like this is you um, getting your needs met. This is the exact same um, planet as well with the uh, Jupiter. This is actually in Aquarius now. So this is you getting balance, being listened to. This is also the star, Aquarius energy. Um, this is your needs being met, your emotions connecting up with your yourself, your personality, and you're really channeling who you want to be. You're really being who you are, and you're being genuine and authentic, okay? And that's going to help you towards your person. As I say, you could meet this person at work, could be for a friendship group, could be for a work group, colleagues, that sort of thing, because we've got the Three of Cups also as well. Um, it could be when you're having the most fun, this person comes in also. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Obviously, this reading is general, so it's going to resonate with whoever you know it, it chooses basically so if it doesn't resonate you're always welcome to choose another group but thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and hopefully i'll be releasing my shop soon i'm very very excited about it so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye